trades trades here. Um, there has been a lot of movement here, and so I'm not going to touch in detail on every single trade that had happened, but I am going to go back to April 2nd, where I think one of the first big moves of the trades sort of happened. That was the Chicago Blackhawks acquiring Vinny Henestrosa from the Florida Panthers. Um, that was a great move for the Hawks, getting a goal scorer and a guy who can fit kind of fit their new mold of the fast speedy type of guys. So that was a great pickup for them. Um, another steal, the New York Islanders get Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac from the New Jersey devils. The devils are kind of out of the playoff hunt at this point. So they just unloaded two of their veteran guys to try to go get them a cup to the, to the New York Islanders who are, I believe they are sitting atop of the standings currently. Nope. I take that back. Well, they're tied. So them and the Capitals are tied atop of the atop of the East, who and the Islanders have just made some big moves there. Another huge move for Chicago. Uh, they got Brett Conley from the Florida Panthers. I'm doing business with Florida. Uh, seems to be one of their hot spots to go. There were some other players exchanged in that deal as well, who I don't really need to touch on. Um Colorado Avalanche on April 10th get back up. Well, starting goaltender Devin Dubnik from the Sharks in exchange for a defenseman in a fifth round pick. That is a huge move for the Sharks. Um, they kind of had some question marks around who's their starting goalie. I know Jones has done very well for them recently, but it never hurts to have a one two punch in the NHL, especially the season, how it's condensed you need a good backup to go one, two, one, two all season long. And whoever's the hot guy is going to get it in the playoff time um, for the Panthers as well. Who's in the hunt for the playoffs. They get Buffalo Sabres defenseman, Brandon Montour. He's one of their top defensemen. So it's good to see him get out of the dumpster fire of what is Buffalo this season and potentially battle for a Stanley cup. If, if they can end up making the playoffs there. Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, Stanley Cup champions from last year, added a steal. Um, David Savard from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Huge, huge deal for them. Um, their back end has been there. I, I know they have one of the best defensemen in the league in Victor Hedman. It's just crazy to see how they go and they log up on another huge veteran who can log a lot of minutes. He's the physical type of guy, just the type of guy you need when you're going into the playoffs, give your team some boost saying, Hey, we got another, we got another guy who's here to battle. I could definitely see them going on another run. Um, the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, they got Nick Felino, former captain for the Columbus blue jackets. That I, I didn't see that coming. Um, Toronto is just going all in this year on winning the Stanley cup for all their first round battles that they've had and finishing on the losing side with Austin Matthews leading the league in goals at this point, he, I mean, the young guys that they have on their team right now are just in full swing. Like they're at the top of their game. So bringing in another experienced guy, especially who has, like, I want to say now that, that he's the fourth player on their team now, who's been a captain for another franchise. So like, They've got the experience. They finally put all the all the main pieces together to say we got a leader on every single line now who's been a captain somewhere where that ship ain't going to rock. Like the boat's not going to rock too much. We're going to keep things steady and hopefully that they can make a run this year because it'd be cool to see them get out of that slump. Uh, Boston Bruins, they got a defenseman, Mike Riley from Ottawa Senators. Um, that helps the bees. I know they've been kind of on a slump as of late. Hopefully that continues being a Flyers fan so that maybe we can hop them for that fourth spot. But Boston is Boston. They battle every single year and <laughs> you want them to die and they just never die. Like they've, they've made uh, like a handful of great moves, like as well as bringing in Mike, uh, Mike Riley, Taylor Hall, former league MVP and Curtis Lazar from Buffalo Sabres in that dumpster fire over there. They're, they're going to get a chance to potentially battle for the Stanley cup, which is great for them. Um, the Pittsburgh Penguins get my boy, Jeff Carter from the Kings 
for conditional picks in 2022 and 23. Hate to see it that my favorite player now plays for the arch enemy of my team, but good for him. I mean, he's already got a couple Stanley Cups with the Kings. Wouldn't, would be a nice ride off into the sunset, getting one more Stanley Cup with Sidney Crosby. <laughs> Maybe that'd be, that'd be the way to ride off into the sub- sunset playing with one of the greatest players to play the game of all time. Um, not too much else, like crazy trades. Uh, Capitals get Anthony Manta from the Red Wings. I have no idea how the Red Wings got this deal to go through, but they got a guy who is kind of on the end of his career for two veterans and a first round pick for this year and second round pick there. So it just goes, shows the, the capitals are kind of all in at this point. Clearly they, th- they think that Mantha is, is going to do something great for him. So hopefully it works out for him. Um, another capitals acquisition, they get Michael raffle from my flyers in exchange for a fifth round pick no idea why the Flyers would get rid of a, gr- of a a great player for just a fifth round pick. So it's kind of sad to see, but good for the Capitals. I mean, we wish them the best. I can't, I don't know the exact number, but I want to say the last seven or eight guys we've gotten rid of have gone to win Stanley Cups at the teams that they've gone to. So go, go win a cup raffle. I mean, Thank you for what you've done for Philly. Same with Eric Gustafson, who got traded as well yesterday, defenseman. Uh, We sent him to Montreal. They're looking good. He's going to help them on their back end. So that's kind of all the major trades that really happened 